What was life being out there for the first day? I mean, it was awesome. Uh, going into year seven, uh, it's a big vet year for me now. And uh, just being back out here with the team and seeing everybody, um, you know, come back after a good off season. Everybody looks like to be in good shape right now and ready to compete. Uh, it's a good energy out there right now on day one. <clears throat> Look at what you accomplished on the field last year. How do you build on that? What are your personal goals for this? Yeah, I think that's the most important is just build on uh, what we did last year good and, uh, you know, eliminate what we did last year and not so good. Um, you know, that's the biggest, uh, the most important part going into this year. And it starts today, you know, we're um, doing a good job of like watching film from last year and critiquing what we didn't do so well and, uh, you know, continue to build and, and you know, sharpen our toolbox on, on what we did do well. So I think that's big. Is there a point of emphasis like that you did do well and did do well that you went out? Uh, I think the biggest thing that I need to work on um, is just like that transition um, from like run to pass, so, like reading reading stuff a little bit quicker. Um, and I think that just comes with you know more recognition of the game, more more film study, and just more um, experience in this in this game. Like I said, um, and you know, like I said, I'm going into year seven now. I think those things are like starting to come to me faster now, and uh, just just picking up on that recognition to make it that much faster. With the contract situation out of the way, is, is it you feel freer now, or? Um, I don't know. I think last year I wasn't too focused on it. Um, you know, the coaches and myself uh, did a good job of just focusing on each day. Um, you know, focusing on getting better, focusing on, you know, my personal game, and uh, not really focusing on, you know, the contract or the money or, or what to gain at the end of the season. I was just more focused on, you know, the process and, uh, you know, the same situation now that Coach Judge is preaching to me and the rest of the team is, you know, we have to love the process. We have to love practice. We have to, you know, make practice easier than the game. And, uh, you know, I think the coaches did a good job of that last year. Does the, the big money contract, is that, do you feel more pressure? Does it put more pressure on you? I mean, if I was looking at it as a pressure way, it would be the same way last year. You know, going like I said about the contract, uh, you know, you try not to focus on money. You try not to focus on a contract or anything like that that you're involved in or, or what to expect or anything like that. You just really want to focus on the grind, focus on your um, specific task, your specific ability, and uh, what you can bring to the team and, uh, you know, how you can make the team better. So the answer is no? No. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, do you uh, – how, how can you become – a better leader this, for this defense this year? Uh, I think just be more vocal. Uh, I think I've always been a, a good, um, you know, leader by example, which I think that's like, at this point, I think that's like the easy thing to do. Uh, and I think just stepping out of my comfort zone and, and being more of a, a vocal type of leader. Um, you know, leading by example, you know, I always make sure I'm on time. I always, you know, make sure I'm running and, and conditioned well and, you know, do everything right that way. But uh, I think just, Having some of those younger guys, speaking to some of those younger guys and, and speaking to the team is something to, you know, step out of my comfort zone and, and be a bit better of a leader. How much better can this defense be in a second year under Patrick Green? Um, you know, not trying to relate to last year at all, but, uh, you know, I think I just, we all love playing under Pat Graham. And, uh, you know, we love his, uh, you know, how smart he is and, and what he brings to the game. And, you know, he, he doesn't put everybody in the same position. He knows what type of tools he has, what type of guys he has. And he puts his players in the best ability to, to play the best that they can. And uh, I think that makes uh, players' confidence rise. And, you know, the more confident you are, the better you play. Are, you, are your expectations <clears throat> to build on what you did last year sack-wise and be a, continue to be a double-digit sacker? I mean, I want to continue to improve my ability. I want to continue to um, put my best foot forward. and and bringing the best I can to the to this team. Um, you know, I'm not focused on numbers. I'm focusing on just having another great season. Leonard, obviously, COVID-19 is still a big story in the NFL. Have you been vaccinated? Um, I got my first shot. Um, I'm, I still have to wait to get my second shot. And then, you know, going forward, I think I have to wait another two weeks after that. But, um, you know, overall, I think, you know, I think the team is doing a good job of making sure that we follow all the right protocols. and you know, uh, giving everybody their freedom to, to do what they want to do, you know, based on, you know, their principles and what they want to do best for their family and stuff like that. As a leader, will you encourage your teammates to, coach the staff wants to get as many vaccinated as possible. As a leader, will you encourage the teammates to do? Um, yeah, I think I would encourage most people to do it. Uh, at the same time, though, it's like everyone has their freedom to do what they want to do. Uh, the only reason why I encourage to do it is because, you know, certain protocols, uh, you know, 
uh, hinder us from being together in certain ways. Like, and uh, you know, I think it would just be a better going forward health-wise, and you know, not preventing like any loss of game cancellations or anything like that, and just making sure everyone's on the same page. What made you decide to get vaccinated, and why did you wait? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think I just had a busy off-season training, and uh, as soon as I got back, I got it. That's pretty much. That's pretty much it. Is well, it you're right. why, did you, why did you decide to get it? Uh, just because of the protocols, like I said, I think it was just uh, a little bit smoother, and uh, just because of the the health reasons as well. I think it's it's easier going forward with the team, um, making sure that we're all on the same page and making sure everyone's safe. Does this feel different? You know, just sitting here looking at us and you know. Oh, compared to Zoom and stuff? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's a little bit better in person. Uh, I'm glad that things are starting to come back like that. And I'm, I'm excited to see fans back in the stadium and all that type of good stuff. And, uh, you know, it's, it was always weird doing stuff over Zoom call, even uh, learning the playbook and stuff like that over Zoom. I'm not that type of guy that could, like, learn through a, a, a screen. I'm a better in-person type of person. So just seeing everyone back, it feels good. Was, was, yeah, it, was it strange being out there without Dalvin next to you? Yeah, I mean, I played with him the last two years now. Uh, he's a great player, great leader. Um, you know, I'm obviously happy for his new contract and where he's at now. He just got engaged uh, to his girl, and, you know, I, I keep up with him. Uh, we keep up with each other, and, uh, you know, we'll always be friends. But you were a first-round pick, so this isn't your first big contract. But um, did this change anything for you outside of football? Like, did, did, is there, did you sense any difference in your life? Since this new uh, not really, honestly, besides people talking about it. That's the only thing that's changed, you know. Uh, nobody's coming up to me anymore, like, asking me, like, you know, contracts stuff anymore. So I think nothing in my personal life changed. It's just the way people approach me has changed, I guess. Sometimes, sometimes guys have, like, a big purchase that they, that they make or something. Yeah. Like that. You, you probably already yeah. made I haven't yet, no. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I haven't. I've, you know, I bought my mom a house when I was a rookie. Um, I'm still looking to buy myself a house. And uh, I mean, I'm not really like a big spender like that. I'm a big outdoors person. I like to, you know, be in the water. I like to go hiking and camping. It's like I buy tents and stuff like that more than I buy like nice, expensive things. So. I saw you uh, take a bite out of the uh, fish's heart that you threw the other day. What, what, what does that taste like? Uh, it, it didn't taste that bad. It was a little salty, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I go spear fishing a lot during my my free time, and uh, it was my first time catching a bluefin tuna, so it was like part of the tradition. How frustrating has it been for you, never having made the playoffs? Uh, it's obviously been frustrating. I'm going into my seventh year. Um, you know, being a competitor and being, you know, in the NFL for this long, that's uh, obviously a goal of mine. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to working towards that. Is this, you, you a, play, is this a playoff team, Leo? I mean, I think we have a very high talented team. Um, I don't want to make predictions, like I said. And, uh, you know, we just have to start starts today. I mean, we have to come out here and compete. We, I think we did a good job of that today, and we have to just build on that tomorrow. And then hopefully we'll see where, where we end up. What did you Leonard, learn? I apologize if this was asked before, but now that you're in the second year of this defense, how, you personally, what do you feel you could do better from last year? Um, I think just being more of a leader and um, just adapting. I think that's something that Pat Graham talks about a lot is adapt or die. And it goes to show like the way he coaches and the way he plays his defense. Uh, we, we change our defense mid-game sometimes. We change our defense every week, week in, week out, depending on who we're playing. And we have to learn how to adapt and, and quickly. Um, and that's how this league is. And uh, I think that's just what I have to learn, how to adapt a little faster. and. Uh, you know, just change, elevate my game more. You mean, Later. You, Later. Say that more. To, you mean to situations on the field or situations off the field or just everything in general? Uh, just everything in general. I was just talking about how, um, you know, just, just picking up on teams' uh, schemes, uh, watching film a little bit more, um, being able to, to learn what the team is going to give me, my opponent's going to give me before the, the snap, you know what I mean? Just picking up on small little reads and stuff like that. What is different or defining about how Judge runs a training camp compared to other coaches you have? Um, I think he just, uh, he doesn't really care if you're a star player or, you know, 
anyone else. He just he treats everyone the same. And I think that's what makes his team grow. That's what it keeps everyone out on an equal playing field. Um, he's not going to let one player get away with something that he you know might not let the next person get away with. And it just it, it creates a good uh, competition. And uh, you know I, I love the way coach uh, coaches us and how hard he is on everyone to get better. What have you learned about Giants? Last one, last one. The, the tradition of Giants defensive football? Whatever. What have you learned about the Giants tradition on defense over the years? I mean, obviously they've had a great uh, defensive lineman come through here for years now. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'm going to be a part of that tradition uh, for a long, longer time now. And, uh, you know, I've been able to talk with Justin Tuck and and, stu- and guys like Michael Strahan and, and those guys. And, you know, we, we've obviously had a great defense uh, in, in Giants for a long time now. So we'll continue to build on that.